What's up guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, I wanna talk about this article I wrote called Automating Form Submissions with Python. What I did here was I set up an automation to automate the process of filling in web forms using Selenium and Beautiful Soup. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. Let's get started. I turned my article into this kind of like slide presentation because I wrote it on Jupyter Notebooks, which is pretty cool because now I can easily explain and go through the code. Let's start by taking a look and well, first we get the imports, basic stuff. The steps are gonna be set up your answers as a CSV file. Then we'll inspect necessary web elements by type of input. And then we'll set up the URL and the driver. We'll access the web address. We'll send the keys for the text-based inputs. We'll send clicks for checkbox to type inputs. And then access and click the submit button to finish and loop over the database and submit the answers for each user. So let's get started. So first things first, we set up a I set up an easy, simple Google Forms so that I can use it as a template. Generated the data for the people using Python's Faker framework, uh, and then I set, I put that in the database, and you know now I have uh, I have the data here. Uh, what I did is I inspect the necessary web elements by type of input. I go to the Google Forms link, and I inspect each element to get what I need so that I can um, automate the process of filling in that web form. So in this case, I just went through the previous link of my Google Forms. Um, I had three questions and were two are text-based and one was multi-select. So these were the web elements that I had to use. After that, I set up the, the elements here. So text, quest, text question element class, checkbox question element class, and submit element class which is great because now I can just set up the URL and the driver. This is the URL for the form, and this is the driver with where I set the executable path to my uh, Chrome driver for my machine. And now let's go through. Then finally, I access the web address, and then I send keys for text-based inputs, which looks a little bit something like this. This is the function I wrote for doing that. I, this is the answer name age, so I get the name, age, text answers, text questions, and then I send the keys to send the answers using the driver, and then I return the driver so that I can continue to go through the automations. After that, I send the clicks for checkbox inputs, and here are the, uh, it's a color index dictionary for the different colors, and then this is the function to answer the checkbox, and then I return the driver again. Finally, I access and click the submit button to finish. This how I do that. That submit, find element by XPath, return the driver again. And then I loop over the database and I submit the answers for each user. So I had my database that I created with uh, Python's fr fake framework. And now I just get, I'm just loop over the database and submit the answers from that database. I have my database. Uh, I then loop through uh, the user IDs in the database, and then I submit the answers. And that's pretty much it. Python is a great way to experiment with different types of automations and different things that you can do so that you can be more productive, either using the browser or you know using your desktop in general. And that's it. Cheers.